I am gonna be building this one myself. Got a car down the street at Jose's. And I'm gonna be building this one myself. I have some parts already for my local junkyard. Yes, sir. Those things, and yes, definitely need some brakes and shit. Let you see all the all the damage that's really done. But other than that, it's solid. Doesn't sound bad. I'm gonna put this bumper on. I'm put this light in today. Uh, I got a new front light. I'm gonna put in today. I'm gonna also take this off. See how see what's all broke basically. Alright. A few moments later. Alright YouTube. I'm about to show y'all how to you feel me, remove your back bumper. You feel me? How to remove the back bumper for a 2008 Dodge Cavalier. It's pretty easy. You don't want to take these little push tabs out. Oh, this is messed up. You want to take this little push tabs out? I don't know if you guys can see it right now. It's kind of bad lighting. But these little things, it should be like one, two, three, four, five. About five of them. I want to say about five. Then you want to take seven socket. Put it right here. It's a couple of bolts over here. You just want to screw those bolts off. After you screw them bolts off, you know, some on this side too, you want to screw those bolts off, then you want to put a, uh, just put a little screwdriver in there. When you put a screwdriver in there, it's going to pop it out. I'll show you what I, what I mean. Jeez, I just want to let you guys know, man, finally got them out. But they are rough. Like I had to break this one out. I still got these ones in here, but they're not on the bumper. So that should be a little easier, but they are, ouch, they are hard to get out, man. So be careful with that. Now for real, <coughs> once you get everything off, I usually just take a thing in here. Okay, I do want to note that there's two screws down here, right? Then there's a screw that goes through the wheel well into this, right? I just popped it off. It came off real easy. Then I just screw, took a screwdriver in there and popped the whole assembly off. Once you get that out, you have to get that out. See what I'm saying? And it just comes right off. Got the old bumper out. That motherfucker, fuck. See this, is what I'm talking about. I just screw them off before I put the new bumper on. That's real easy. But you gotta get that off. Okay, we got that out. That's how you remove that bumper, man. Remember, you're gonna have two screws right here you have a screw up in here they're gonna latch on to that you're gonna have these clips you get what i'm saying right here you have these clips right here right here